All right, for this video, we're going to be focusing on just kind of getting a GitHub repo down into VS Code, you know, one from the, the cloud, if you will, um, and put it down onto our local computer and kind of set up our uh, beginning of this whole process. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in VS Code. Uh, you will notice that we've got this open. Uh, we've got a clone Git repository, uh, but we need something in order to do that. So I'm going to switch over to Chrome. And inside of Chrome, I'm actually in that repo. Uh, I've got the repo right here. I've got code, and so what I'm going to do is I'm on the main branch. I'm just going to click code, and I'm going to copy that. Head back over to VS Code. Clone Git repository. Now I can paste that right there. All right, so I've navigated to where I want to place this. Uh, I'm going ahead and select that repository. Um, once I've done that, this is a pretty quick there's not a whole lot of data in there, so it is pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and click open. If there is more data, it takes a little while to get that in there. You'll press open, uh, and you will see this pop up for you. Close out a couple little reminders. It's going to take a moment to just kind of load and process. Uh, it's still reading that it is a um, SFDX project, and so it's got some information that's going to try to grab, uh, open up. You will also see that we have a um, main branch that's going to pop up down here in the bottom left. But now that we've got it all popped up, um, you can see we do have some data in here. All right, we've got a Lightning Web component that I created just to kind of populate this. And so we have this set up, um, but we have an org down here that's not the actual default org that I want. So I'm going to change that to something else. Now, if you haven't done that before, we're we'll going to authorize an org. I'm just going to show you real quick how to do that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and authorize an org. I've got my trailhead org. Um, I actually like to go here and let's go ahead and just copy this. And then we're going to go back into VS Code. Control Shift P and we're going to authorize an org. I like to go ahead and go custom, paste that in there. Make sure at the front we've got HTTPS. That will make it a lot happy. We're going to call this our dev process org. I'm going to authorize that org. Should jump me back over to Chrome. All right, once you got your credentials in, you will log in, you will allow access. And then now in VS Code, it is set up, ready to go. So we can actually connect to that. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to select my new org. So it's real important to kind of always check down there to make sure that you are in the correct spot. Um, also notice, noticing what branch you are actually working on. All right, one of the things that you might need to do um, if you've never used Git or get, get that all set up on here, um, we're going to click on the terminal, make sure that I'm looking at a Git bash or a, a PowerShell. You're going to want to make sure that you've got your configurations for Git set up. So we're going to type in, all right, we're going to set our username. We're going to enter in our email. And then this should prevent us from having any further issues when it comes to our, uh, you know, being able to push to and from Git. So once we've set that set up, you've done it globally, we're not have to concern uh, about that.